This model is represented by two modifications, the popular four-door sedan and the less common five-door hatchback. As the operating experience has shown, that car body has no global problems with corrosion resistance. But there is a still one weak point. It is metal around the lock cylinder of the trunk lid. The owners also blame the quality of the cylinder itself, which turns sour over time, and in order not to have problems, it needs to be periodically lubricated. In addition, the hood hinges also have a tendency to souring. There are also batches of cars that do not have vents in the headlights, because of this, they often fog up. The Hyundai Accent does not have side moldings, because of this, in the parking lot, the sides are often not neat neighbors. The trunk of the sedan car is small, its volume is 454 liters, while the related Kia Rio has 500 liters, the Chevrolet Aveo has 502 liters, and the Skoda Rapid has 550 liters. In addition, its functionality is significantly reduced by a narrow loading opening, an access opening to the passenger compartment, as well as a noticeable step when the rear row of seats is folding down. Unlike its predecessor, which had a diesel engine in the lineup, this version of the Hyundai Accent was equipped only with gasoline engines, one with the volume of 1.4 liters, the second with the 1.6 liters. Despite the fact that they have the same volume as their predecessors, these motors are fundamentally different from previous versions. So, in particular, the in timing is equipped with a metal chain with a long service life, and the cylinder head is equipped with a proprietary variable valve timing system and individual ignition coils. Most often in the secondary market, you can find a version with a 1.4-liter engine paired with a manual transmission. This duo gets to the car from 0 to 60 in 11.5 seconds, and while those numbers aren't impressive, this version feels quite snappy. It should also be noted that the fuel consumption of 6-7 liters per 100 kilometers is quite low, some owners manage to meet the consumption of less than 6 liters. With the large engine as a rule, an automatic transmission was installed. In this tandem, the owners received similar acceleration dynamics of 11.2 seconds, but significantly lost fuel consumption indicators, which in the city is 9.2 liters per 100. A special advantage of both Hyundai Accent units is that they can run not only on 95th gas line, but also on the cheaper AI 92nd. This cheaper is quite relevant, given the quality of the fuel and its price. Operating experience has shown that the current Accent engines have proven to be quite reliable, but sometimes there are minor troubles, so often the owners of the forums discuss the incorrect operation of the fuel level sensor, which often gives incorrect parameters. Also, with a run of 60,000 km, the damper poly of the air conditioning compressor fails. Specialists of branded service stations know that only certified HPO can be installed on Accent units. If you use a poor quality installation, the engine will have to be overhauled ahead of schedule. The cylinder head of both engines is not equipped with hydraulic compensators. When working on gasoline, it is recommended to check the thermal valve clearances every 100,000 km. And when working on gas, you will have to do it more often. The signal for this will be the sound of the engine running at idle too loud. Hyundai Accent is equipped with one of two types of gearboxes, mechanics for 5 gears and 4-speed automatic transmission. Although the first and second transmission option do not have significant problems, they can still be a little disturbing. In particular, the owners know the premature failure of the clutch. It is quite easy to identify a sore. Reversing under load will be accompanied by a metallic squeaks. This malfunction is caused by a weakening of the clutch basket pedals. Also, wheel play or crunching while driving can be caused by a warm plastic spacer on the outer CV joint flange. To remove this defect, the manufacturer recommends removing the washer. The Hyundai Accent suspension has established itself as quite reliable, but there are still weak points. Wheel bearings that run 50-60,000 km wear out the fastest, stabilizer struts can last 80,000 km, bushings and silent blocks of the front levers 100,000 km, ball bearings up to 150,000 km. It is worth noting that all consumables on this car can be changed separately, this feature significantly reduced the cost of suspension repair. The rear suspension does not cause problems for owners over many years of operation. The steering rack is equipped with a hydraulic booster. In practice, this unit has proven itself to be quite problematic. On cars of the first years of production, the spool mechanism of the rail often flows. This problem was eliminated over time. But there are sores inherent in all accents. After a run of 40,000 km, the rack gear engagement breaks, and the rack bushings also becomes unusable. To eliminate these shortcomings, the manufacturer produced a special factory repair kit. At the same time, the steering consumables serve well, the tie rod ends travel more than 100,000 km, and the traction is even greater. 
When buying a Hyundai Accent with millage, experts recommend checking the front seat heating, the front seat belt fixation sensor, the onboard computer control button, and the control buttons for operability audio system mounted on the steering wheel. If you are the owner of this car model, please describe the problems that you had to face during the operation of the car. Perhaps it is your review that will help readers of our site when choosing a car.